Hello and welcome to Forex.Academy, your number one website for Forex and crypto education and analysis. In today's edition we will be discussing the Golden Rules of Trading Part 2. In Part 1 of the Golden Rules of Trading we have developed the rules to accomplish the well-known rule of cut your losses short and let your profits run. In Part 2 we will discuss the next rule. Understand your trading strategy or system in terms of average, standard deviation and drawdown. Any system or strategy produces a stream of results. These results can be expressed in terms of multiples of a standard measure of risk, R. The denominator of reward risk ratio by applying the statistical computations to the results, we will be able to obtain its average and standard deviation. The average. The average when obtained from R based results in mathematical expectation E, and this will tell us the expected gain on average for every trade in terms of R. For example, if E is 0.25, it tells you that your system delivers an average of 0.25 cents on every dollar risked. If your risk is 100 on each trade, your system will produce an average of $25 on every trade. Thus if your system gives you 6 signals daily, 120 signals monthly, you will know that your monthly results will be around $3000 on average. But this result was made using a $100 risk on all trades. If you were able to raise the risk to $200, you would double the results to $6000 monthly. Thus knowing the expectancy E of your strategy is key to define your profit objectives as a trader. Variability of results, the standard deviation. The standard deviation or SD is the other part to this. It tells you how much your results vary. It tells the risk side of your system. A small standard deviation tells you that the results do not vary much. A large figure will tell you that your results can be substantially different. Let's suppose a trader has a system with a 0.25 RE, but the SD is 4. After 30 trades, the expected gain will be 7.5 R, but since it has a huge variability that the trader will have less than 50% probability of being profitable. Drawdown Drawdown is a metric that will tell traders how much of its trading capital is risked in long term. Drawdown is related to position sizing, but if we create risk-based statistics, it can be normalized. To compute an approximation to the max drawdown, we need just one value, the average loss, which as said is normalized to R. Drawdown is closely related to losing streaks, thus an approximation to it is to compute max losing streaks. We can define a max losing streak for a trading system as a streak with a probability of occurrence no more than 1% that will catch 99% of all streaks. The probability if a repeated event is an individual probability multiplied by itself n times being n the number of repetitions. For example, the probability of obtaining two tails of a coin toss is 50% chance each. It's 0.5 times 0.5 equal in 25%. The probability of getting four tails is 0.5 times 0.5 times 0.5 times 0.5 equal in 6.2%. In a 50% chance game, a streak of six repeated events is 1.56 and the probability of seven repeated events is 0.78%. If this was a trading system, I'd set my max losing streak to 7 to ensure it will cover 99% of my trading situations. That means I would need to plan my position sizing for a 7 streak event that will cover the 7 times R drawdown. Position size. How is this related to position size? A max drawdown figure is a key decision for a trader. How much of your capital are you willing to lose before quitting? The answer is directly linked to the ideal position size. Let's assume trader A is not willing to lose more than 10% of her capital, while trader B is willing to accept 50%. And let's assume both are using the same 50% winner system with 1000 US dollars in their trading account. For trader A, 7R equals 10%. The risk per trade should be 10% divided by 7 equaling 1.43% of her account balance. For trader B, 7R equals 50%. Thus the risk per trade will be 50% divided by 7 equaling 7.14% of his account balance. We see that this will define the results as well. The same system when using different position sizes will deliver quite different results. If the system gives 120 R monthly on the trading account balance of $1,000, trader A will get about $1,714, while trader B will get around $8,571. Now we understand the importance of knowing our system and its parameters. This knowledge will provide us with the needed information to make important decisions and plan our trading objectives. If you enjoyed the video then please like and subscribe and leave a comment down below about anything you would like us to discuss in future or if you have any questions about this particular video. Have a great day.